Hello and welcome to our third day in our consecration to St. Joseph. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. Our Heavenly Father has had only one saint to represent him on earth. Hence, he bestowed everything he could on that favored saint and equipped him with all that he needed to be his worthy representative. God the Father loves you. He loves you so much that he sent his Son into the world to save you. But saving you is not all the Father sent his Son to do for you. He sent his Son to save you and make you a child of God. Through Jesus, you are able to have a filial relationship with God the Father. Through Jesus, you can cry out, Abba, Father. To be a child of God is why you were created. It's the very purpose for which you exist. And there is only one way to the Father, Jesus Christ. Only Jesus has the power to take you to the Father. Yet in God's merciful love, St. Joseph plays a very important role in your spiritual growth and journey to the Father. Consecration to St. Joseph will increase the presence of the Father in your life. We learn this truth from the life of Jesus himself. When the Heavenly Father sent his Son into the world to save us and make us his children, he selected one saint to represent him on earth. Saint Joseph. Jesus, in living under the roof of Saint Joseph and being his son, gave us a personal example of total entrustment to Saint Joseph. Jesus loved, obeyed, and imitated his earthly father. Saint Joseph is the only man that Jesus ever called father. Jesus delighted in being known as the son of Joseph. We too should consider it an honor to be his children. If according to the plans of the Father, Jesus needed Joseph, how much more do we need him too? The fatherhood of St. Joseph increased the presence of the Heavenly Father in the life of Jesus. Now to be clear, St. Joseph is not God. He cannot add anything to the divine and eternal communion existing between God the Father and God the Son. Nor can St. Joseph improve the ability of Jesus as a divine person. To, per to perpetually behold the presence of his heavenly Father, rather, St. Joseph was chosen to stand in the place of the heavenly Father according to the demands of Jesus' human nature. God the Father doesn't have a human nature. Every time Jesus saw St. Joseph, heard him speak, watched him work, or witnessed his chaste love for Mary, the humanity of Jesus witnessed a perfect reflection of the Heavenly Father. God chose to make Joseph his most tangible image on earth the depository of all the rights of his divine paternity, the husband of that noble virgin who is mistress of angels and men. It's a quote from one of our blesseds. What the Heavenly Father did for Jesus, he wants to do for you. God the Father wants you to entrust yourself to the loving paternal care of St. Joseph in a manner similar to God's entrustment of the human nature of Jesus to St. Joseph. God planned these entrustments both of Jesus to St. Joseph and of the members of the church to St. Joseph. From all eternity, they were not done haphazardly. St. Joseph is the shadow of the Heavenly Father. He was the image and reflection of the Father for Jesus. God the Father wants you to accept St. Joseph as your spiritual father as well. Jesus is the one in whom we must be most perfectly, we see most perfectly the image of the mercy and love of his heavenly Father. As he said, he who has seen me has seen the Father. But Jesus also wants to share with us the love 
the one, the one who was for him the earthly image of his heavenly father. The holy man, Saint Joseph, had such towering dignity and glory that the eternal father most generously bestowed on him a likeness of his own primacy. That's from Saint Bernardine. Bernardine. Let us pray the litany of Saint Joseph. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of domestic life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you all on this third day of our journey to consecration. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day. And uh, see you later for evening prayer, and we'll see you tomorrow for our fourth day of our journey. God bless you all.